I find a lot of people, now that they know I'm a real estate investor, they're coming up to me all the time asking, hey, man, can you help me find a house? You know what I mean? So, yeah. these, so um, as far as screening them, you know, it's questioning them on, like, job history, how much money they make, what's your credit score, and all that good stuff. Um, I try to just give them free advice, but I find them keep gravitating back to me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. So I do find a lot of run across a lot of houses. So I'm trying to figure out a way to marry the two up. But these are like friends and coworkers. So I don't want to like, I want to be just business oriented, but they, they're making it kind of, kind of hard, you know? Yeah. So just, I'm trying to help them, but at the same time, it's really about business. You know? Sure. So how, how do you deal with situations like that? Cause I know you, you know, you're pretty successful and you got friends and family that hit you up with free advice a lot, you know, probably. Right. So, you know, I want to do business and help people, but I also want to make money. Sure. I, 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 would, I would settle on a very simple paragraph or so of free information to tell them that is innocuous, that's not very detailed, and say, I, I don't, I, you know, as you probably know, even if you know they don't know it, say, as you probably know, I do this for, you know, this is my side gig, right? Right. And, you know, I, I can do this for you. If you want a property, I can find this for you. It, it's going to cost you blah. Right, right. And just yeah. leave it at that, and then they'll say yay or nay. Right. Yeah, I think the part I'm leaving out is it's going to cost you. <laughs> yeah, you just got to tell them, listen, as you know, this is my side hustle here, man. This is, yeah. uh, this is what I do. I have properties all the time. If you are interested in me finding one for you, yeah. um, you know, I can take care of that. It's, but you know, it's my side hustle. It's yeah. how I make my money. Come right. on, we're not getting rich here. Right. Right. You know, exactly. type thing, that kind of thing <laughs> with them, you know, right. So, exactly. exactly. But you know, if you can do that, you can say, you know, uh, my partner and I have, uh, you know, properties here. We have this side business. If you're interested, we can, find you one of these properties you can you know okay kind of thing so right you know okay. it, we can find your property it's not very it doesn't cost you that much to you know engage our services that kind of thing but you can always throw it off on a partner or the you know the missing man syndrome the <laughs> you know oh um you know my i'll, yeah. I'll check with my partner or i'll check yeah. with my you know broker or whatever my lawyer i mean it's just whatever and I do do and I and I do that. I do it. I use that tactic a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wants a discount. Uh, let me let me talk to my partner and then you come back. And then I, my partner said no. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Here's your partner right here. Hello. Right. Yeah. Okay, talk to each other, right? <laughs> so. No, I like that. I like that. yeah, I get that every it seems like every day now, which is good. Yeah. Good. Uh but yeah, at the same time, I got, time is money. I got to turn a profit, man. I think yeah. I, I just need to add in there, hey, it's going to cost you. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, and it's just, listen, you know, we get paid for this. Uh, we can take care of this. If this is, if you're serious, turn it around where it's not you're asking them for money or they're asking you about how much it's going to cost. Turn it around to where it's their problem. Are you interested in getting it? You know, it sounds like this has been a problem for you. Finding a house right. is not a problem for you. Would you like right. that problem solved or would you continue? Would you rather continue to feel bad about that problem? Right. You know, right. say it in whatever way that's easy for you to say that, you know, put it in your own words, in other words, but you throw it back where it's back on them of, you know, yeah, I do that kind of stuff. We, I got you. We okay. solve people's problems all day long, you know? Right. There you go. We do this all okay. the time. It's a, we're in the problem, people problem solving business. Exactly. You know, do you want your problem solved? And is it worth something to you? Or do you want, you know, right. you're not getting anywhere working for yourself on this deal, trying right. to solve your problem, in other words. So I got you. I got you. I like all that. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the right track. You can play around with a lot of that kind of stuff and, you know, um, turn it around and, you know, well, it's, you know, we'll, we're going to do a sales clinic one of these days on some, and Nick and I are going to do one of these deals and we're going right. to get into this and teach everybody about some of these sales words and phrases and things you can, you can do. I, I right. actually, Jeff, I have a, a free 30 days of influential language hacks course. Oh really? What? So that, like I'm, I'm sure you already know. That's uh -huh. one of, 
right? Like every time I want someone to know something that they don't know already, I just say, well, I'm sure you already know. And they're like, yeah, yeah. of course I knew that. <laughs> even yeah. if they don't know. Yeah. yeah, even if they don't know. Yeah. Uh, so I'm yeah, sure you know this is, yeah. It, yeah, in Ishmael's case, hey, I'm sure you know that this is my side hustle, right? I mean, that's yeah. why you're coming to me. So right. are you wanting me to help you fix this? Yeah. Or do you yeah I'm sure you got to know been living in? it's going to cost you. <laughs> yeah. I always just, being a female, I can throw a few different things out there, but I can throw out hair, nails, things like that. Be like, hey, you wouldn't trust the ladies doing it for free, would you? So you make sure you want to pay the guy that's going to do it right for you. That's good. Yeah, you're right. that's good. You want that's to good. Hey, you want to do your own that's dentistry? Good. Here's a drill. Yeah. <laughs> How about it? You want to pay? Hey, Ashley, I got a lot of women uh, clients too that, that ask me. I, I think I'm gonna throw some of that hair and nail stuff out at. Them. Yeah, I mean yeah. it works. <laughs> that works. Uh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you think you trust the guy on the corner doing it for nothing, right? <laughs> you want the guy in the shop with the office that's gonna that's really right. give you, you the tell service. Tell Miss Hey, where do you think this pretty face comes from? There's maintenance right. here, you know. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Somebody's got to pay for the upkeep. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I so, like it. Yeah. All right. So you know what to do now. You have your marching orders, right? I got it, man. I Get appreciate it. You can, and you can make a big business out of that deal. You can have, if you've got buyers in this business, and this is one of the dirty little secrets, um, that it wants the, the person who actually has the most buyer, it always in the real estate thing is, oh, listings, 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 right? But the right. person who can actually get the most buyers is the one who wins. That's right. You're Nothing right. happens until something yeah. actually gets sold. So Yeah, exactly. That's true. I believe in that. The, that yeah, somebody got to buy that out. Yeah. And so what you've got there is you've got a bunch of buyers coming to you. You've got yeah. the buyers. Just go find the deal. Reverse right. engineer this whole thing. Go the other direction. Okay. I like that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I try to get that and do it really well at it, and then we'll turn it into the Mingo course and <laughs> how to reverse engineer a transaction. Start right. with putting the money in the bank. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then go find a buyer. Right. <laughs> and go Mingo find a house out. later on. <laughs> right. That's right. I, I, like, I like that approach. I yeah. That's yeah. A good one. yeah. Yeah. Give I do it a shot. like that, too. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that, Jeff. All right. And appreciate it. it. You take care. All right, y'all too. Um, we're going to go ahead and mute you. Anybody else have anything else? Had a good call today. Appreciate everybody's time, effort, and energy. Um, yo, that's uh, Brent uh, Ishmael. Brent had a, a good notation here on the chat. Don't forget to ask them how much they've got to put down on their new house. You know, how much do you have to put into your new house? Um, you know, are you serious or are you just uh, playing around with us on this thing? So, you know, okay. And, and I can tell you that the guys who've got a lot more money to put down, that's going to be your first clients. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you want of the course. guys who've got 10,000 to put down, not the guy that's got, well, I got, you know, $47 in a bag <laughs> of lint. <laughs> so, exactly you yeah. want the guy with the biggest so brent's absolutely right ask how much they've got down how much do you have to put it and it filters out the players from the non-players too so i got you that makes sense <laughs>